Hey guys, welcome to ITS Tactical. We're out here with Jim Fuller on the range here in beautiful Texas weather. And we're here to talk about the new Venom Tactical Antidote, which is a co-branded break between Rifle Dynamics and Venom Tactical. Um, first off, Jim, can you kind of tell us a little bit about the uh, design on this? Yeah, sure. We went to Lenny, you know, uh, Lenny Bolton from Venom Tactical. He's got a quite a background in fuel and air combustion. He was a, a designer for K&N filters and he was very heavy in the automotive industry and that stuff. So he has a lot of knowledge on how to control blast and things of that nature, you know. So he was, um, he builds a lot of really nice sniper rifles, that's his main thing. And he was developing a brake for a 338 Lapua. And I was talking with him about it, I said, hey, you know, can you take that technology and put it on the AK? And he says, sure, we'll just put it on my gun dyno and figure out what works. He actually has a gun dyno. Which yeah, you is, were telling me about that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he uses accelerometers. He puts them on the stock and on the handguard so you can actually measure, you know, the, the, the muzzle rise and the actual felt recoil on the shoulder and put a number to it. Yeah. So we were able to, when we had the prototypes of these, we took them out with the gun dyno and we were able to run it with several other comps and just test, you know, test the numbers on everything and get an actual real scientific measurement of what they do. Which is, you know, you, people have always says, oh, well, it feels better. Well, what does feel better? Mm -hmm. You know, how about we have a number and some science to back it up? So when we saw the numbers, we decided, you know what, let's go ahead and make this. And, uh, you know, if you look at this, this is designed much different than any comp we've seen before. It actually has an inner sleeve. And before you guys start thinking suppressor, no, it's not. There's holes in the inner sleeve as well as the outer sleeve. So it doesn't qualify as a suppressor in any way. It doesn't reduce noise. Um, but what that does, it diverts gases properly to get them and it, you know, it was designed based on the characteristics of the 7.6239. So the vents and the angle of the vents are all part of the science of how this works. And when we first tried it, I just, I was really amazed at what a different was. It makes a 7.62 gun feel like a 5.45 gun, honestly. Um, now, but, is this brake available for a 5.45? No, it is not. Okay. Um, you could use that. it, but I mean, it's sure. designed for the 7.62. I haven't actually tried one on a 5.45 gun yet because they're threaded 14.1 left yep. hand for your standard AK. And uh, we don't have a whole, most of our 5.45 guns are threaded half 28. So uh, I haven't tried one yet, but I will sooner or later just to see how it works with sure. the 5.45. Um, we didn't, um, we didn't really want to get into that because, you know, the 7.62 is far more, you know, far more prevalent than the 5.45. And the 5.45, frankly, doesn't recoil that much, yeah. you know. So let's put the, put the meat where, the, where, the, where it needs to be, you know. Exactly. You want to talk about the, uh, the guide yeah. rod you guys include? Yeah, we do this with the battle comps too, because as you know, a lot of the lesser expensive AKs, when you look at concentricity of the bore, and by that I mean how well the bore is centered in the barrel, um, if you look at some of the cheaper AKs, you'll see that they're not really centered well. And if you have a gun like that, that's not a good candidate for putting any brake on, not just ours, but any brake, mainly because of the, the alignment of the barrel to the exit hole on the, on the brake is very important, otherwise you get bullet strikes. So, you know, as we do with the battle comps, we include a four inch steel rod. It's a 1964 steel rod. We, you know, taper the edges and polish it so it won't damage anything. And then when we install a brake, um, how, what we test it with is we just take the rod and we drop it in. And it should fall right in and fall right out like that. If it binds up at all, don't shoot that gun. You know, that's why we include the rod in it. Um, not that the comp's bad, but because the barrels are just, the spec is all over the place on them, and you just never know what kind of gun it's going to go on. You know, we know these are perfect, but we don't know what they're going on. So. Well, guys, the next step is we're actually going to take this out and shoot it. Cool. That's the fun part. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, so what we're going to do first is we're going to shoot the, uh, the AK with the slant brake on it, and then we're going to switch to the, uh, the Venom Tactical Antidote, and we'll be shooting that as well. Um, shoot a 30-round mag through each. Um, this is the, the AKM, the uh, Romanian mill kit that we built at the Rifle Dynamics uh, AK Builder class. So we'll be shooting this, and we'll dump a 30 round mag first through this, and then we'll switch out the brake. All right, guys, so now we'll show with the antidote.
All right. All right, guys, let's take it up a notch. We've got Jim's AKM here and try out some fully auto. There we go. All right, guys, so we wanted to give you kind of a wrap up of this, um, basically my notes. Um, I did feel like it was definitely controlling the gun a lot better. I felt it was almost pushing out as well as kind of pushing back as well. Mm -hmm. um, I did notice on the fully auto though, it did push me back a little at first and I had to kind of re-engage a yeah, little. Yeah, you, you, you handled that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it performed great, man. I really well, did. Well, did you, the, the main thing, did you notice difference on the shoulder as I well did. as the muzzle rise? I did, a lot, rise? a okay. lot, a lot of difference on the shoulder. Yeah, that's, that's the idea because it, it tends to want to pull the gun a little bit. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, we find them to be pretty effective, you know, particularly on full auto, as you can see. Yeah. It's pretty controllable. I was looking at your target down there, and you were cutting some nice groups. Cool. You know? So, uh, we think it's going to be we think it's going to be a good good part, and I think people are going to really like it. Uh, but yeah, if you if you want to try it, they're, they're, the retail price on them is one ninety five. Uh, again, it's a totally new design, and it really does a lot more than most of the stuff out there. You know. Well, very cool. Well, thanks yeah. for the opportunity, Jim. Yeah, appreciate great. it, Brian. Yeah, appreciate absolutely. It. Thanks, guys.